Hi, I'm so happy that you were able to make it today. I know yesterday you said you were short for time, but you're here and I'm so glad. Okay, so we spoke on the phone yesterday and you said that you were looking for fragrances for your friend and for your mom. How sweet. Uh, so they both like florals. That's one thing that they both love. Um, your friend likes things that are a little bit more cleaner, more... Uh, softer in a sense and um, she also likes her citrus correct okay and your mom likes things that are a little more timeless uh, a little bit more stronger correct powdery mm -hmm. balmy as well okay and woodsy okay so I have a little bit of everything here for you and I think we'll find something for your friend and for your mom that they will absolutely love. Okay, so uh, before we get started, um, have you ever had like a fragrance consultation before? No? Okay, so um, I have nine fragrances for you. I have my fragrance strips right here. So I'm just going to tell you about the fragrance. I'm going to spray them onto the strip and you're just going to give them a good whiff and um, you know your friend and your mom better than I do so uh, you can tell me love it, hate it, you're indecisive and we'll go from there. I also have this little pot of coffee grinds. Now the reason for these coffee grinds, this is kind of like a resetter for your nasal passages because you will be trying so many fragrances and I don't want your nose to get overwhelmed uh, and ultimately I don't want you to get a headache. So uh, between each fragrance I'm going to ask you to smell the coffee grinds and that again is just going to reset your, uh, your nasal passages. It's just going to be easier to smell all the notes, to distinguish each fragrance, and um, to make a good choice. Okay, Okay. so before I share all of the lovely scents that I picked out for you, because I am a fragrance consultant, it is my job to share some of the newest launches. So I know it's kind of a nuisance, so uh, because I know it's kind of a, a bother, I do have some fragrance samples that I will be giving you at the end. Okay, deal? Okay. So these are some of the newer launches, and they're all quite beautiful, very different to one another. So the first one that we have here is my Burberry Black. This is a flanker to my Burberry. This one, as the name states, is much richer, much darker, and perfect for nighttime. Here we have Angel Muse. Now, Angel Muse is definitely more of a gourmand, so it smells very sweet. It actually smells like hazelnut cream, so it's very creamy, very nutty, and uh, warm. And it's a very beautiful scent, but if you don't like sweet smells, then I would stay away from Angel Muse, which is a flanker to Angel from Terry Mouglet. Here we have Estee Lauder's Muse, and um, this, I believe, is also a flanker as well, Modern Muse. Excuse me. So that is the beautiful bottle. I love that signature red. Then we have Juicy Couture, and I believe the full name is Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. And I believe this is a much more stronger scent. Um, it's not as youthful as the other Juicy Couture scents. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the bottle, I'll be honest. But um, I still need to give this scent uh, a good whiff. Here we have Marc Jacobs Decadence. Now Marc Jacobs Decadence is quite nice. I feel like you can wear it uh, during the day and at night. It has a beautiful bottle in the shape of a clutch. It even has the chain here as the handle. It's quite beautiful. 
Here we have Calvin Klein. This is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Deep Euphoria. Which is another flanker of their Euphoria scents. And then we have Papa Rabanne. And this is Papa Rabanne Olympia. So some really beautiful scents. And I feel like all of these scents would be perfect for the fall. I think that's what uh, they're kind of going with. These are all of the like fall launches, which um, definitely screams rich and um, and warm and um, just full of life, I guess. So um, there's also a couple of gift sets, I guess I will share with you. We have the Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. We have this one here, which is Gucci Guilty, which is a favorite amongst the fragrance lovers. We have Lancome La Vieste Belle, La Vieste Belle, which is definitely another favorite, another fan favorite. Um, we have Walk On Air. Walk On Air is definitely more of a casual scent. Uh, doesn't really scream seasonal. Um, not to me anyways. You can get away with it all year round. Uh, and then we have Philosophy Amazing Grace, which is a very, very clean. It's probably one of the cleanest scents. But um, I think you said that your friend already owns this, correct? Okay. It's one of her favorites. Well, that's a beautiful gift set. If um, you want to get something that you know that she'll love, it comes with, I believe, a lotion, a roller ball, and um, the actual fragrance in the original bottle. And then we have Ariana Grande, and this one is Sweet Like Candy. So I want to say this is her second addition to her first fragrance. Um, I know her first fragrance was absolutely sweet, so um, to know that this may be sweeter, uh, I'm not much of a sweet scent kind of person. Uh, I have a couple more. So I have these right here. This is Tory Burch. I absolutely love this and I feel like Tory Burch, um, you can definitely wear this all year round. More daytime appropriate. Um, it says here, a bright and complex mix that captures classic elements in unexpected ways with crisp citrus notes of grapefruit and neroli anchored by earthy vetiver and balanced by a blend of peony and tuberose. So I think that this would definitely be one that your friend would definitely adore. Um, we also have this one here. Again, Gucci Guilty, but I did want to show you that there is a, um, a male version as well, in case you were wondering. It says, awaken the senses with a burst of zesty lemon, cool lavender, and spicy pink pepper in this bold and uncompromising fragrance. Again, this is a fan favorite. Um, I do like this scent, but the pink pepper is kind of... Uh, overpowering for my nose, but that's just me. It's kind of a personal thing, I guess. Um, we also have Tom Ford's Black Orchid, which is definitely luxury at its best. And um, this is the most elusive and elegant flowers. Black truffle, black orchid, and black plum create a luxurious and sensual scent that is both modern and timeless. And I have to say, I do really enjoy this one. I didn't think that I would, but I actually really do. It is strong, but it's for that confident woman, that woman that um, absolutely knows who she is and what she wants. Okay, and then of course we have Marc Jacobs Fragrances. Um, to me, uh, they're over, how do you say it, overplayed? Is that even a word? Uh, 
they're just talked about way, way, way too much. And to be honest, there is just better fragrances out there. Uh, to me, these are a bit juvenile. Perfect for a teenager. But, you know, I feel like as you get older, try other things. But, um... Sparkling strawberry and grapefruit join delicate violet for a fresh and feminine fragrance that is sure to delight. I mean, beautiful bottles, great for your vanity, but not something that I personally recommend to a lot of my clients just because I want my clients to smell different. I want them to enjoy their scents and to feel like they have something unique, something that they can call their signature scent. Not something that everybody owns. Uh, this one right here is Atelier Cologne. I love Atelier Cologne. They, um, they're not actually perfumes, they're cologne absolutes, so they're a little stronger than a cologne, uh, but they don't last nearly as much as a perfume, but they're absolutely amazing. I feel like if you have someone who loves citrus, let them know about this perfume house because they do citrus right. Um, this one right here is Orange Sanguine, so it's basically orange juice in a bottle. It's amazing. Uh, it says here, blood orange and bitter orange intertwine for an elegant citrus that is topped with a sweet touch of jasmine. It's absolutely perfection. I do have a sample of this if you do um, feel so inclined to try this out. Okay. Um, I also have this booklet here with a couple of fragrances that I thought I would share with you. These are a couple of other gift sets that we have as well. We have Stella, Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney is a beautiful modern rose fragrance. It's just absolutely lovely. Uh, we have Chloe, which I will be showing a Chloe fragrance. But this is a beautiful gift set uh, if you know someone that absolutely loves florals like if they don't mind smelling like a garden that's for them um these are quite new these are replicas by um mason margiela i'm probably completely butchering that name and i shouldn't because i work with fragrance but uh replica scents are amazing there's jazz club the fireplace beach walk and lipstick on and they're all supposed to entice a memory for you so um, I really love those scents a lot we also have Gucci bamboo and Gucci bamboo is very clean very daytime appropriate I recommend Gucci bamboo for those that have an office job who work around people and want to have a beautiful perfume but nothing overpowering uh, but still classic and um, something that I know everyone would like. It's almost unisex in a way. Uh, we also have clean scents. These are the clean reservoir or clean reserve, excuse me, scents. And um, these are quite lovely, a little more stronger than the actual um, clean scents that first launched. Let's see what else. Almost done. Um, I did bookmark this one just because you did say for you personally you liked vanilla scents, you like your gourmands, your sweeter scents. Uh, yeah, and I thought of a YSL Black Opium. Beautiful bottle, absolutely. It has that little window there where you can see the perfume and how much you've used up, which I really love. I feel like... Um, more people should come out with packaging similar to that. Not exactly copying, but I love that. Um, we have Versace. And uh, Versace, for me personally, I'm not a big fan of Versace scents. I do like Yellow Diamond, but I'm not a fan of all the other ones. I can't stand Bright Crystal. I think it's the Yuzu in there. It's a really sharp, sharp, sharp fragrance note. It really just hits me not in a good way. Um, I like my my fruity scents, but that one is a bit much. 
uh, Taka makes also some beautiful scents as well. I feel like you can't go wrong with any of those. Um, they're just non-offensive scents. They're really nice. Nothing that screams, oh my goodness, super unique or anything. Um, but they're gorgeous. And then of course we have your your classic Tador from Dior. Uh, classic bottle, classic fragrance. Uh, I feel like that smells good on pretty much everyone. And um, I think that's all that I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as promised, I have some fragrance samples to give to you. We have Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This one is Vanilla Bourbon. This is also a new launch. So uh, this is what the bottle looks like. And um, this is a gorgeous scent. Definitely more nighttime appropriate. It is a little boozy, balmy. Uh, it's quite lovely. Uh, but it's definitely a stronger, sophisticated kind of scent. There's also Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana Black, Nirvana White, Nirvana Rose. So if you like rose scents, definitely check out Nirvana Rose, even though I do feel it's very similar to Stella by Stella McCartney. So either or, you really can't go wrong. Okay, we also have a Nest. This is Nest Indigo. Um, Nest fragrances are all beautiful, very botanical. Their bottles are just gorgeous. Um, I just, I love the style of Nest. Nothing is too much, which I really like. I feel like each and every one of them you can wear all year round, during the day, at night. Um, they're just very nice floral scents. So this one is Indigo. And Indigo is actually one of their favorites, so I figured I would uh, have you try out this one. This one is Moroccan Tea, Cashmere Wood, and Black Cardamom. So it also has a hint of Wild Fig and Bergamot. Really good stuff. I also wanted to give you some samples of one of my favorite fragrance houses. This is Tokyo Milk Dark, and um, we have 85 and 33. 85 Novocaine and 33 Pretty Rotten. So 85 Novocaine looks like this. And this one has crushed ginger, Thai pepper, frankincense, and vanilla orchid. So it's definitely a spicy vanilla. And then we have number 33 Pretty Rotten. And this one is Ambrosia Apple, Amber Queen Rose, Mandarin, and Forest Greens. And it pretty much reminds me of an orchard. It's quite lovely. And then lastly, I have a luxury item for you. This is Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. And there's no description here, but um, this is quite... All of Tom Ford's fragrances are quite strong. Um, but this one isn't the strongest that I've smelled. So if you're looking for a Tom Ford fragrance that isn't uh, too overpowering, then definitely try out this one, Orchid Soleil if you enjoy your florals. Okay, so on to the fragrance smelling and testing and all that jazz. Okay, so let's begin with the fun part, which is sharing all the fragrances that I picked out for you. So uh, I'm gonna begin by saying that even though I have been a fragrance consultant for a year now, I am by no means a pro. I have my notes here, let me just show you. I have all my notes here, so if you see me looking down, that is why. I still have a lot to learn, and I am discovering new things every single day, and I feel like because I work with fragrances, I just, I learn things every single day. There's always new notes and new launches, um, so, you know, bear with me here. Okay, so, the first one that... I would like to share with you is a Chloe fragrance. This is a flanker, meaning that this is a um, addition to the Chloe line. Um, 
Now, let me just speak on the bottle really quickly. I love the bottle because if you see this bottle, you will know that it is clearly a Chloe fragrance. The square bottle with the ridges and the lovely bow. And then this top here. I love it. I think the bottle is classic. It's minimal, but it's still beautiful. But what I don't like about this bottle, and I just wanted to kind of uh, let you know, because if you do purchase this bottle, just know that this is going to happen to your Chloe bottle. Uh, for some reason, the top here, the top tends to oxidize. Now, I have a couple of Chloe bottles, and they all oxidize like this. Do you see that? And that is not really pretty. You can see underneath the bow that it has also oxidized into like a copper almost. And I have tried everything pretty much. I have polished these. I have uh, put my Chloe bottles in a very dark spot where no sun whatsoever is hitting it. And it still oxidizes, so it's just something to keep in mind. It's still a beautiful bottle, but I just wish that that didn't happen. Especially with how much you pay for your fragrances. So, let me just tell you a little bit about this one. So this is La Eau de Chloe. This is a 2012 launch. And the main accords are rose, patchouli, citrus, warm, spicy, woody, and earthy. So for me, when I smell this, it's fresh. It's dewy, like a garden. Like a wet garden, like after the rain. Um, I smell the roses, of course, with all Chloe fragrances, you're going to smell rose. And lastly, after it lingers on your skin, it does smell kind of warm and spicy. But you definitely still smell the florals. You will still smell like a garden after the rain, which is quite lovely. The liquid, as you can see here, is green, which is very pretty. Looks beautiful on a vanity. Um, so it smells like rose petals and rose water. The floral notes here are peony. Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, and the warm notes are Amber, Cedar, I love Cedar, Cedar is so good, and White Musk. It has a slight muskiness to it, I will admit, but overall it's a very, I don't want to say green, but um, I guess it's a green, warm, spicy, floral, beautiful mixture. Uh, it's lovely. I love this one. I will say that this is a fragrance that I absolutely love for some reason layering with some of my other fragrances. Um, I love layering this with fragrances that don't have enough floral if I'm feeling floral that day because this is just a true floral explosion in a bottle. Yeah. So, this is a great one. So, I'm going to take a fragrance strip and spray this for you. seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want you to smell alcohol. I want you to smell the fragrance. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, so give that a good whiff. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think she'll love it? 
or do you think she will hate it? Maybe a bit too floral for her liking? Okay. Okay, so smell the coffee. So you can smell the other one. Mm. <laughs> what is it? It's Folgers. Folgers Colombian. In case you're wondering. I know, good stuff, right? If I could smell like coffee all day, I probably would. Okay, so on to the next one. So, we'll put that aside. The next one that I want to share with you is a floral as well. Um, this one is a little more fun. Uh, this is Michael Kors Very Hollywood. Beautiful bottle, yes. Very funny bottle. Right here on the top it says the name of the perfume and the maker. Yes, beautiful gold top. And the juice, the liquid, is pink. I love it. So, this one is a 2009 launch. I don't have a lot of um, old perfumes. I believe all these are less in the 2000s. So the main accords for this one is white floral, sweet, woody, citrus, animalic, which is kind of, um, when I hear the word animalic, it reminds me of uh, something that's skin-like. And I would describe this one as sophisticated, for sure. Uh, this one is floral, but it has hints of fruit. You can definitely recognize that there is fruity notes in this fragrance. It also, even though champagne isn't exactly a note in here, it does smell like champagne. It smells sparkling, if that makes sense. It smells like a celebration, correct? Yeah. So the notes on this one are mandarin, frozen bergamot, moist jasmine, we have raspberry, ylang ylang, we have gardenia, and we have iris root, creamy amber, and white moss. And I believe vetiver as well. I can definitely smell the gardenia and the jasmine. To me, this is a very sparkling, uplifting floral with a hint of fruit. The floral definitely comes before the fruit. It's not super fruity, but um, it's definitely a bright scent. But like I said, it's very sophisticated and I still feel like you could wear this at night. Um, for like a girls night out, something like that, uh, you just, you will smell like a celebration, you will smell so good. Uh, yeah, so, let's have a sniff, shall we? Yeah. I love the sounds of like, the lids. so good, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like happy. That's a good one. It smells really good. So, almost soapy. That is correct. Like, I didn't think of that until you mentioned that. This to me is like a more sophisticated Amazing Grace, I guess. More of an a nighttime Amazing Grace. Uh, it's really good. 
yeah you think she'll like this one great choice so Michael Kors very Hollywood give that a star the next one that I have So the next one is from Atelier Cologne, and I did mention this before. I love this fragrance house. If you know someone who loves citrus, this is my first recommendation. This fragrance house is just superb when it comes to citrus. So this one is Sued Magnolia because, of course, um, we're talking about florals here, and um, I didn't want to show you anything overly fruity. We're still sticking with the florals. So, Sued Magnolia came out in 2015. Did I mention when um, Fairy Hollywood from Michael Kors came out? 2009. Okay. So, this one came out in 2015. And the main accords for this one is citrus, floral, fresh, woody, and rose. So this is what the bottle looks like. Let's talk about this bottle. It's very minimal, but it's still really beautiful. This one comes in a very pretty bright blue glass bottle. You have Atelier Cologne etched at the very bottom. So um, you also have Sued Magnolia right here, which is just a sticker, which is kind of a bummer. but. It comes with a little leather sleeve, which I love, in a very beautiful contrasting color, so it definitely pops. Um, I feel like this is very travel friendly because of the leather case included. And um, this is definitely one that doesn't last a very long time. Unfortunately, with citrusy scents, they just don't last a very long time. Um, so this is one that I would keep close to me and I would spray throughout the day. This is another one that I personally love to layer if I want that burst of zestiness but with a hint of floral. I will layer this with other floral scents um, or fruity scents as well. Um, it's really, really nice. If you like magnolias, this will be your best friend. If you don't like the scent of magnolias, then just, just stay away from this one. As you can see here, Atelier Cologne is etched on the leather case. On the other side, you can actually have your name etched on the leather case as well, which adds a really nice personal touch to this perfume. It's just one that I definitely recommend to a lot of my clients and they always fall in love with it because you can wear it alone, you can wear it every single day, it's non-offensive, and you can also layer this and it just goes well with so many different perfumes. So, I definitely would describe this perfume as graceful. It has many beautiful notes. It has magnolia, bitter orange, black currant, rose, saffron, Atlas cedar, sandalwood, and musk. So this starts out very citrusy. It has a brightness to it in the beginning, and then it turns more into that magnolia, that beautiful floral, and then it kind of winds down to a nice cedar, woodsy kind of smell. So it's really quite beautiful, and I definitely recommend. So let's have a sniff. So let's spray this, give it a couple of seconds, yeah, it almost smells like grapefruit because it is more of a bitter orange, yeah, you can smell the skin of the orange almost. So what do you think? Yeah, this is definitely perfect for a gift. 
So you're thinking about getting this one as well. And you'll have it personalized. Perfect. Okay. Let me put a little star on that as well. Okay. Great so far. Okay. So, coffee, coffee break. Smells good, huh? Okay. So, you're reset, you're ready to go. Okay. So, the next one that I have here is from Prada. Now, this is Prada Infusion de Tuberose. This is a 2010 launch. And this is definitely a modern tuberose. It's very clean. Almost like the smell of clean cotton in a way. But definitely more floral. It's not soapy. Um, it's just clean. It's the best way to describe it. So, the main accords for this one is citrus, tuberose, of course. We have white floral. It's aromatic. And again, that word, animalic, which is skin-like. Yeah. The bottle is beautiful. This is a really big bottle. Uh, I want to say it's 3.4 fluid ounces, but it's quite large. Could even be more than that. The fluid is purple, which makes it look quite majestic. This is a flanker. Uh, I believe the first one that ever came out is Infusion to Iris, which is gorgeous as well. That one's a little more musky, a little more nighttime appropriate. This one's more for just every day. This is Prada, so it's a little more luxurious, but this just looks gorgeous on the vanity. And this one has tuberose, it has petite grain oil, and orange. It's very simple. It's understated, I guess, with its notes. But even though it doesn't have many notes, it's still powerful, you know. It's not boring. So, this one again, it's clean, it's seductive, it's soft. You just want to keep smelling it. It's really, really good. Okay, so, let's give this a good whiff. This is one, in my opinion, that tends to smell better with time as it lingers on your skin and melts with your body chemistry and your warmth. But it smells good right off the bat, but it definitely smells more skin-like once it's on the skin. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is also one that, in my opinion, smells differently on other people. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now I say fluid ounces. It has 6.75 fluid ounces. So this is the largest bottle. You can get it, yeah, 3.4, 1.0, I think 2.7 as well. Uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna pass on this one. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So. Coffee. 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 Mm -hmm. Satisfaction. Okay. So the next one that I want to share with you is actually a personal favorite of mine. This is Jennifer Aniston. Now this actually launched in Sephora. So this used to be a high-end perfume, but for whatever reason, they stopped selling this perfume. And now you can purchase this in places like Target, the drugstore, Walmart, things like that. So this is relatively inexpensive. I believe for this bottle, it's about $30, which is pretty good, especially since this perfume is just phenomenal. So this launched in 2010, and the main accords for this is white floral, musky, powdery, woody, again, animalic. And I would describe this as beachy, but not like pina colada, coconut, sunscreen beachy, not at all. Just like clean, breezy, salty even. I guess that's where the animalic comes in because it does smell like salt on your skin after being in the ocean, I guess. Um, skin like, yeah, clean. That's how I would describe it. Uh, the notes are, there's citrus notes, rose, jasmine, violet, lily, musk, sandalwood, and amber. And all of those notes seem pretty, like, nothing's quite unique, but this fragrance is certainly unique. When you smell this fragrance, you just know it's Jennifer Aniston. Uh, it's just quite beautiful. If you love jasmine, this is just a beautiful jasmine fragrance, and I am a huge fan of jasmine. Huge fan of gardenia, tuberose, white florals in general. So good. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little sniff, shall we? Okay. Wait a couple seconds. intoxicating isn't it it's so good mm -hmm. this is good for layering as well because it's not an overpowering scent so you can layer this but it's just so good on its own and this is another one that kind of changes with other people's body chemistry some people get more of the clean scent and some people get more of the floral scent some people get more of the citrusy notes. It kind of just depends. To me, I get a very clean fragrance um, with definitely that jasmine. The jasmine is absolutely prominent. It's gorgeous. And, you know, if your friend likes perfume bottles that are more minimalistic, um, it's a beautiful bottle. It's plain, but it's still like a statement. And this is the biggest one, I think, that we offer, uh, which is 2.9. So that's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Great. Okay. Okay, so this is so exciting. I'm so happy that you are enjoying the ones that I picked out. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I do get worried. I mean, I've been doing this for a year, but sometimes I do get worried that, um, you know, people are going to hate the perfumes that I choose since it's so, it's so personal, you know. Okay, so these next ones are the ones that I picked out for your mother. We're going to start off with this one here. This is Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. To me, this is definitely a classic. It's affordable at the same time. Um, you can also purchase this. At the drugstore, you can purchase this at Walmart, 
Target, I believe, as well. And it's just such a beautiful bottle, in my opinion. So vanity worthy, and again, it's still minimalistic. But I don't know, there's something about this bottle that I just love so much. It just reminds me of like a woman, you know? It's so womanly. So this one here is uh, fresh and spicy. It's musky, it's aromatic, it's floral, it's woody, and it's citrus. And to me, I would describe this as timeless and classic and powdery. It's discreet but intimate. Um, the notes on here are soft citrus, rosewood, lavender. This is really interesting. This has apple martini, which is a note that I wish I could pick up, to be honest, but I can't really pick it up. Uh, white daffodil, orchid. It has white amber, cedar, and woodsy notes, and white musk. It's very musky. I don't I smell the woodsy notes a little bit at the very end, but for the most part, it's very um, musky, not necessarily woodsy. It's not all that warm. Um, I definitely smell the lavender. Um, I smell the hint of citrus, or it could be that martini. I don't know. It's really, really nice. Uh, this is one that I like to wear. This is going to sound weird, but to bed because it's a very calming scent. Maybe it's because of that lavender. I'm not quite sure, but it's super, super just relaxing, like a very chill scent. And uh, it's very office appropriate as well. Very just everyday appropriate, non-offensive, but very womanly and um, just gorgeous. I love it. Uh, everyone who tries this just adores it. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, let's have a whiff of it, shall we? Yeah, it also says Sarah, more than initials anyways, SJP. Right there, a the little spritzer. And a nice little ribbon detail there. It's really pretty. Some time, some time to shine. Okay. It is really good. Mm, yeah, it smells like a hug. Like it smells very familiar, right? You love this one? I thought you would. Yeah, I I hate when people describe things as like old lady-ish, but I would say that this is a very mom smell. It's very modern though. It's by no means like a Chanel number no. five, very heavy or yeah, very heady. Um it's just it's good. It's good. Okay. So So you do like that one. So let me mark that. Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely. Yeah, that one was launched in 2005. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's really, really good. <laughs> okay, this next one, it's kind of a wild card. I don't know if you're going to like it, hate it. Um, it's actually the one that I'm wearing today. I'm not going to get offended whatsoever if you hate it. But I just wanted to throw that out there like I'm actually wearing it. Um... But this one is from Burberry, and as I mentioned before, I love Burberry scents. They're just all so good and just well-deserving of their fandom. Like, everyone loves Burberry. I feel like everybody has a Burberry perfume in their collection. This one just happens to be one of my favorites. 
Um, and this one was launched in 2008. The main accords for this one is uh, citrus, green, woody, musky, aromatic. Um, and it's really cool because I love the actual bottle of this. It has this little amulet, if you will, and it's like this little strip of suede with this metal bar. And I guess in 2008 that was kind of like the, the trend for Burberry at that time so that's just their little signature uh, but it's a great fragrance it's supposed to represent music uh, and it's very uplifting at first you, you definitely can smell the citrus at first that's the first thing that hits you and then it just kind of mellows down into a very nice creamy cedar and I love cedar it's one of my favorite notes it's so good. It's almost unisex, but if you guys have ever smelled Calvin Klein Obsession, it's, I don't want to say that they're the same fragrance because they're absolutely not, but they have that same kind of creaminess to them, I guess. It's really good. So, um, the notes, there's tea from Ceylon, there's iris, bluebell, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, which honestly isn't one of my favorite notes, but this one, it's not overly spicy. There's mandarin, light musk, vetiver, and cedar. And the cedar is definitely pronounced at the very end, but in a beautiful way. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's full of life in the beginning, and then it just kind of gets cozy, like a nice cozy sweater, I guess really good. So that is Burberry the Beat. Such beautiful packaging. I love the packaging. I love the metal like silver details here and then you have the signature Burberry print and this like frosty kind of pattern. And then you have the little charm, the little amulet. This one is just a, I believe 1.0. And this lasts all day. This is the Eau de Parfum. I believe all of these are Eau de Parfums besides the uh, Atelier Cologne. Uh, but this one is just gorgeous. So let's have a little sniffy sniff. This one is powerful, like it will spray the entire room with one spritz. There you go. It is quite strong, I will admit. It's not heady though. Um, it's very modern. Mm -hmm. I like it because you can smell all of the layers as it's happening. The top note, the heart, the base note, you can smell it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, it's not for everyone. You'll pass on this one. Okay. So, coffee. Okay. So, this next one is from Lolita Limpica. Yeah. Little and Pika is the one that makes the beautiful bottles that look like apples. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is one of her bottles. It's still quite beautiful. Not an apple, but I love it nonetheless. Um, so this one is C. Lolita. And this was launched in 2009. The main accords for this one are balsamic, sweet, soft, spicy, aromatic, citrus, and this is also a floral. I would describe this as a oriental floral um, with spicy accords. It's definitely spicy, but it doesn't overdo it in my opinion. The notes are bergamot, mandarin, pink pepper, sweet peas, patchouli, tonka, elemi, and amber. Um, it's a little heady at first. But once it kind of winds down with your body chemistry, 
it just it starts smelling so warm it's like a good cashmere sweater you can definitely smell the amber the amber in this is very prominent um, it's a spicy amber it's so good and I love the bottle I love that the perfume bottle almost looks like it's wearing a scarf itself like it's kind of suggestive to the fact that this is definitely a warmer perfume definitely for you know the cooler seasons definitely for fall or winter uh, it's definitely for sweater weather it's so good so it's perfect for this time of year and um, this doesn't actually have a cap to it. it just has this little I don't know what you call it little doodad I guess it just kind of goes off to each side and um, that's just how it is, I guess. So let's try this out. Yeah, the spicy notes definitely hit you right off the bat. It almost smells like cinnamon in a way. Um, you definitely smell the pink pepper, but with all of the other notes, the mandarin and the sweet peas, uh, it just kind of works all together. So that way it's not too much. Yeah, definitely something your mom would like. Yeah, I have one, one last one to share with you. Okay. So, you just want to see what the other one's all about before saying yes to this one? Okay, we can do that. Okay, so I have a little whiff of this. Okay, great. So, this last one is definitely by far my favorite, I want to say, out of all the perfumes that I'm going to show you today. This one, honestly, is my signature perfume. It's what I wear all the time. It's what I'm known for and um, I gotta give it some love. I had to share it because I feel like this needs all the qualities of what your mom would probably like. She may already even own this one. I'm not quite sure. So this is just a bit of a gamble. Does she own this one? No? Great. Okay. So this is Alien from Terry Mugley. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting bottle. I don't quite know what they were going for. Maybe like a philosopher's stone or some sort of like <laughs> warlock object or something. Um, some sort of, I don't know, alien jewel, I guess. But this was launched in 2005. Um, the composition of this is quite unique because it only has three main links. It has a warm white amber in the base at the very end, the woody notes in the heart, the mid, and the sunny Indian jasmine on the top. Now for me, I get all of the notes. I get the jasmine. I, I totally get the amber. And I get a little bit of the woody notes, but it's not overly woody. I can't stand woody scents, in my opinion. I can't stand woody scents, so I wouldn't wear something that is completely woody. Um, and this is my signature scent, so it says a lot. Uh, I love jasmine, so I think that's why I love this one so much, because it's jasmine done to perfection. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so good. You only need like one spritz of this because it is quite a powerhouse. Uh, I will say that this is kind of like a love it or hate it perfume. <clears throat> In the Terry Mugler world, people say you either love Angel or you love Alien. You can't love them both, which I don't personally agree with. But I mean, it <laughs> that claim does go for me because I can't stand Angel. I love Alien, so maybe it is true. Maybe you can't love them both. I don't know. 
but um the bottle is actually refillable which is pretty cool you can take this to any store that sells alien and they will refill it for you uh, which is nice this is the two fluid ounce there's also a bigger version of this and a smaller version a one fluid ounce the two fluid ounce and 3.4 so um yeah you've heard a lot about this yeah it's definitely a favorite amongst others but like i said you do either love it or hate it for me this reminds me of the color purple i mean i know the bottle is so suggestive but it reminds me of grape juice i guess i don't know oh so good so so good this is so intoxicating seductive sophisticated everything okay so that is it there this is very animalic it's very floral it's very warm it has woodsy notes but it's not overly woodsy so what do you think do you love it yay as I sniff the strip up my nose so you're gonna choose alien okay awesome okay yay so <clears throat> just a little rundown you chose Michael Kors Fairy Hollywood do you want to stick with this size bottle? This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. It's the mid-size bottle. You want to stick with this size? Okay, great. And then you chose the Atelier Cologne. So do you want the 1.0 fluid ounce or do you want the 3.4 fluid ounce? Sticking with the 1.0? Okay. Awesome. And you want that one engraved, correct? And then lastly, for your friend, the Jennifer Aniston. She's going to absolutely adore this one. I promise you. So do you want it in the 2.9? The 1.0? Okay. Okay. And then for your beautiful mom, you went with Sarah Jessica Parker. Lovely. You're sticking with a size bottle. Okay, so this is the 3.4. So... The largest size. The largest size for your mom, of course, right? And so you decided against C. Lolita by Lolita Olympica, correct? Okay, and then Terry Mugler, Alien. Okay, awesome. Does your mom have like a huge perfume collection? Yeah, she collects it. Okay, so what size bottle do you want the Alien in? This, again, is the 2 fluid ounce, 2.0. The 3.4 as well. Okay, awesome. And you want the refillable option for that. Okay, awesome. So, Sherry will take you up front. I will let her know all the perfumes you want and the sizes. And she will pack those all up for you all nicely. If you want them gift wrapped, she will do that as well. Um, we also have gift cards. Uh, and she will give you a gift receipt for all of those. Sounds wonderful? Okay, thank you so much again. This was such a lovely, lovely time spent with one of my favorite clients. So, um, yeah, you have a wedding to go to, so you'll be back again. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I'll see you then.